Hello, hello. Today I will be featuring the tier 5 Pan Asian DD, the Shun Vei. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yun Vei, Shun Vei, no idea. I'm just gonna call it the Shun Vei, and you know exactly what I mean. If you don't like it, sue me. The first, the ship I will be mostly comparing this ship to is the Nicholas, because this ship plays very similarly to the Nicholas. Now you know that the matchmaking, tier 7 matchmaking, that's sadly something that's very common when you play tier 5. Um, very common when you play tier 6 as well, but it's something you have to get used to. First things first, the HP on the ship. You can reach 14.3 or 14.250, as you can see, uh, running the HP perk. The Nicholas, in return, can reach 14.9, so you're actually losing about 600 health uh, to the Nicholas. When it comes to concealment, that's another issue. Uh, the Shan Wei has a 6km concealment. This is running Concealment Expert. It's actually worse than what you had at Tier 4. And whereas the Nicholas can reach 5.8. So the Nicholas, um, in terms of survivability, the Nicholas certainly has the edge. They handle pretty much the same, they're just as fast, they both do 38.9 uh, knots with the flag, and they both have access to speed boost. Uh, the Nicholas has a slightly faster rudder shift, the Shan Bei has a tighter turning circle. Now we start getting to some of the differences. Well, I might mention the AA, the Nicholas beats the Shan Bei in AA completely. It has a huge advantage, but ultimately anyone who's, who has played the Nicholas knows that you are not going to be shooting down any planes at all. It's highly unlikely that you will even scratch any planes, so ultimately that difference is pretty small and, well, not really that noteworthy. The Torps are the big deal. Um, the Shanwei gets a huge upgrade in Torp damage going from Tier 4 to Tier 5. You go from 11.7k uh, damage Torps to 16.7k damage Torps. Uh, so six of these is of course extremely hard hitting. Uh, they are quite fast, 62 knots. And, uh, but the problem is of course they only have 6.4km range, just like you had at Tier 4. The difference is your concealment is now worse, so using them can be quite challenging since the um, amount of space you have to use them is of course only 400 meters. Uh, of course it's easier if someone pushes towards you, you, you can torp um, in the direction they're moving, but generally it can be quite challenging to make these torps work. Uh, the Nicholas of course has the same torps as the Clemson, which is 6 or, or uh, 2x3 on both sides, so 4x3 launchers, 11.7k uh, damage and so forth. But the Nicholas the Nicholas can not stealth torp, but he can kind of make it work by just uh, kiting away and torping anyone who pushes towards him or ambushing around islands. Now, I was about to launch both my torps, then the Sharnhars decided to turn in, at which point I'm saving my torp volley to see if he decides to rush me. I'm gonna save the torp volley for that, but now it seems like he's about to turn away, so I pre preemptively predict where he's turning and I launch my torps that way. The torps are, of course, deep water torps, meaning you cannot hit DDs. You can only hit cruisers, battleships, and carriers. They are, however, quite fast, extremely stealthy, and as I mentioned, these torps hit incredibly hard. Three torps doesn't look like much on a Scharnhorst, but these torps, well, that's almost a dead Scharnhorst right there. So, extremely powerful in that sense. The guns, though, that's a pretty big problem. You might note that my reload is very, very long. And that's because the reload on these guns is 8 seconds. I might be running a BFT captain in this particular commentary, so the reload is 7.2 seconds. But the base reload is 8. And that means you have 5 120mm guns with 8 second reload. The alpha is 1.7k, the range is 10.9, and they do about 840 meters per second. So. The guns are okay, the reload is however not. If you compare it to the Nicholas, the Nicholas has 4 guns instead of 5, but in return it has a 4 second reload. You have an 8 second reload, so the Nicholas reloads in half the time that you do. The Nicholas guns also have the same range. The shell velocity is slightly slower at 792 compared to your 814, but the sheer volume of fire a Nicholas can pump out is clearly, clearly the, <laughs> a huge advantage. Um, Nicholas' re fire chance is 5%, 6 with the flag, your fire chance is 8, 9 with the flag. So, that fire chance, of course, 3% is not enough to offset having half a reload faster, and one gun extra isn't um, enough either. In fact, if we compare it to a direct, if you were to fight a Nicholas directly in the Shanwei, the Nicholas would 
have every advantage. Every advantage. He out, if you go into a cap, the Nicholas outspots you. Um, if you end up in a gunfight, the Nicholas outguns you because the reload is just so much faster, uh, just so much more DPM. So he will e easily outgun you, he'll outspot you, he will get the opening salvo and he will out DPM you. Um, and if you try to brawl and get close to him, well, your torps are deep water, meaning you can't actually hit the Nicholas, whereas the Nicholas, of course, has six torps on both sides and is a monster at knife fighting, especially other DDs, because of the great handling. So he would uh, rush you, outgun you, out torp you, and just crush you. So the Shanwei can't really take on the Nicholas in any sort of fair fight. That's every advantage goes to the Nicholas there. And in general, I probably found this to be one of the weaker ships in the line, uh, one of the more challenging ships. That's not to say it's technically bad, the issue is just that you're constantly up-tiered. You have no AA, um, you only have 6km concealment and you're constantly up-tiered. And, well, your torps are good, but in return for all that extra damage you gained from going from tier 4 to tier 5, you also gained... I think 6 or 7 seconds additional reload, so you have a 73 second base reload on your torps, and you also lost 2 knots of speed. So, it's a trade-off. You, What was extremely strong at tier 4 is no longer really that special at tier 5, and I would, would say the Shan Wei is going to be... Well, it's going to be a bit challenging. I mean, if you can make the torps work, if you get good torpedo hits, then you can have good games in it. Uh, but the guns can be quite annoying, considering how long it takes for you to shoot each volley, how long it takes for your guns to reload. Of course, running Adrenaline Rush and BFT significantly alleviates this problem, but it's still worth noting. So, um, compared to the extremely strong Tier 4, I would say the Tier 5 is pretty average. It ha doesn't have quite the torpedo power of um, the IGN DDs because it doesn't have the range at 6.4. On the other hand, though, the torps are stealthy, fast, and hit extremely hard. So, um, games without carriers favor it the most. Sadly, though, playing at tier 5, you're going to be facing a lot of carriers. Um, the reason why, of course, games without carriers favor it is because you have to get so close to use these torpedoes. You can't really use your guns to deal too much damage because of, well, the long reload, you don't have the DPM, so you want to be using your torps as much as possible, and uh, when your torps have a 6.4 km range and you have a 6 km concealment, making them work can be challenging, and uh, I've certainly been quite challenged trying to make them work, especially when you end up facing higher tier carriers and when you introduce things like radar ships into the mix, it becomes very, very challenging, especially when you can no longer you can't de torp any DDs either. You see a DD stop and smoke up right in front of you and start shooting out of the smoke, um, whereas a Nicholas would happily torp that smoke. You can't really scratch him, and you don't really want to push into him because you don't want to push in a knife knife fight other DDs because they can simply torp you, whereas you cannot return the favor. So the Shanbei is certainly not. It's some sort of, not the same type of power creep, uh, I would call the, well, I can't remember the name of the tier 4, but it's certainly a significantly toned down version um, of the ship in that sense. The De Graz, is it pushing in or not? I don't know, I'm gonna send a bit of HE his way. The Cleveland look, look, looks like he's slowing down and turning in, so I, la I launch one set of volleys. Note I always, when in situations like this, I always keep one volley as a spare, and that volley is, is for when someone tries to rush you. If someone rushes your smoke and tries to just bum rush you, you need to have that one set of torps ready to deal with him, and uh, only only if you know you can kill the guy with guns, but you just want to save, save time by killing him with torps, only then can you torp. Like in this case here. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Cleveland forced to use his repair, so I know he's probably going to die. So the torps are honestly more flavor than anything else. Because, well, he's burning to death extremely quickly. He used his repair on my flooding, and the Galicinier secured both these kills. So, no luck here. Um, the torps, I mean, the Nicholas has, I mean, sorry, the smokes. The Nicholas has excellent USDD smokes. The Shan Wei does, of course, have the advantage of having multiple shorter duration smokes which I consider superior for solo play. For team play, having long duration smokes that you can lay down for your teammates and then go out there and spot them 
gun and torpedo or whatever um, are significantly more useful for team play but for solo play uh, these pen asian short duration smokes are much more useful you go into a cap someone spots you you smoke up to secure the cap you leave the cap and your your smoke will soon be available again for the next time you need it or you see someone you want to shoot you smoke up your gunboat um, he turns away okay this wasn't a wasted smoke because you'll have your next smoke up very soon anyway so for solo play Having multiple shorter duration smokes is probably preferable than the American smokes that last so very long, but in return have such a long cooldown. So I actually quite like that aspect of these DDs. This Motsuki is giving a lot of broadside, let's see if we can hit them. The shell velocity is of course very fast close range, but you can see how much shell velocity you lose as soon as there's a bit of distance. That's of course the downside of having um, smaller caliber shells, they are lighter more air drag, slow down significantly more, and so forth. This guy looks like he is about to die. Let's see if we can maybe get some damage in before the game ends. I think that's unlikely. My damage says 8889, and the game does end. Interestingly, in my score screen, my damage says 8888. So it looks like Wargaming stole one damage from me. Regardless though, the game ends, and I would say this is fairly typical. Uh, Shanwei game. I mean, which, fairly typical in the sense where there's no radars or carriers. If there are, life becomes harder. But in general, if you land torps, like I did on the Sharnhorst, they have devastating effect. The problem is making those torps work, which can be a lot harder than people expect it to be, especially with planes flying around spotting you. And when people start taking pot shots at you, it becomes even less fun. Team score wise, we are looking at, well, I did top the scoreboard, which is of course always fun when you're bottom tier, but some sort of raw hard carry games in this ship is going to be very hard, and uh, I don't really see it happening. It's like most tier 5s, really. Um, you just gotta suck it up and know that you're gonna deal with being up tiered a lot. It's not terrible, but it's certainly no powerhouse either. It's a Pretty standard silver ship, I guess, in that sense. Detailed report, gun damage, not really much to talk about. Most of the brunt of the damage came from the torpedoes. Not surprisingly, they are fantastic. But once again, the range is the big downside. Anyway, that was my Shanwei commentary. I decided to cover this ship fairly shortly and fairly quickly. Uh, I'm using the same captain I used in my tier 4 commentary. So if you're wondering what build I'm going for, you can check that one. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed it.